Okay, it says A and B sell a quantity of corn for $22. A selling 10 bushels more than B. All right, so I, got, I want to understand what they're saying over here. And, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say there's, there's, there's unknowns. All right, so I'm going to point out in the unknown land, I'll just highlight these, these more. I don't know the number of the bushels that A had. So I'm going to say A had X bushels. That's what I'm going to say. Now, by the way, when I say that, it, it says A is selling 10 bushels more than B, which means B would be X minus 10. All right, that's how many bushels that B had. So A has X bushels and B has X minus 10 bushels. All right? So let me just read it again. A and B sell a quantity of corn for $22. A selling 10 bushels more than B. All right? The next thing I want to do is I want to talk about the price per bushel for A, what A selling his corn for. So I'm going to say A sells his corn for Y dollars per bushel. And I'm going to say B sells his corn for Z dollars per bushel. I just don't know what it is. All right, so what would A make? Well, he has X bushels. Each bushel is worth Y. So A gets that much money. How much does B get? Well, B would get X minus 10 times the price per bushel, which is Z. And they say they took in $22 over there. All right? So what I want to do is, I, I kind of understand that. And I'm just going to maybe simplify this a tiny little bit. And let's see what you get there. Let me write this over here. You would get XY, let's see, plus XZ minus 10Z equals 22. All right, I'm not sure if it's something. Right, let me read what it says next. If A had sold as many bushels as B, he would receive $8. Okay, let me read that again. If A had sold as many bushels as B. Well, how many bushels did B sell? X minus 10. What was his price? A's price was Y. Right, let's read that again. If A had sold as many bushels as B did, he would receive $8. All right, important fact. Let me tell you where this is highlight. I'm not highlight. I'm going to highlight that for you. All right. I guess you could simplify that a tiny little bit by saying y is equal to eight over x minus ten. All right. Let's keep reading. Again, we just read if a had sold as many bushels as b did, he would receive eight dollars. If b had sold as many bushels as A did, well, it's going to be X, right? If B had sold as many bushels as A did, well, what does he get per bushel? He gets Z. He would have received $15, all right? So I get, you know, kind of quite a few equations down. There's a lot of letters in it, and I want to see if I can get, you know, maybe into one letter, all right? So what I want to do is, I want to concentrate on one thing at a time. I want to get XY down. All right now, when I do that, I want to point out, I'm going to write an aside for you. X times Y, well, this is Y, so let's write this down. So it's going to be 8 over X minus 10. All right, let's go to the next thing, which is XZ. Well, XZ is just 15. I got it right over here. Again, I'm doing this over here, plus 15, minus 10z. Well, you know what? Z is 15 over x. So it's going to be 10 times 15 over x. All right? And what's that going to be equal? 22. All right, I'm going to start to erase things I no longer need. Everything is written down neatly here. I don't need this anymore. I've just used it. This is all written down for me, as expected. 
I need to solve an equation now. This equation is in one unknown. As I do it though, I'm gonna write a little bit differently. I'm gonna write as 8x over x minus 10 minus 150 over x. I'm gonna take 15 from both sides and you'd get seven. I'm gonna multiply both sides by the LCD and the LCD is x minus 10 times x. So you get 8x squared minus 150 times x minus 10 equals 7x x minus 10. And again, I'm hoping it's gonna work out pretty nicely, right? Again, I'm gonna erase my past and I wanna move forward. Past, move forward. What do you get here, 8x squared? minus 150 x plus 1500 7x squared minus 70x. Well, certainly quadratic, you get x squared. Let's see, minus, I have to add 70 to 150, that's gonna be 80 now, and 1500. Okay, let's keep looking at it. And it, it doesn't look that bad, actually. I mean, 1,500, how's that related to 80, 30 times 50? Minus, minus. So x, whoops, sorry about that. x equals 30. Or x could be 50. Now, I realize what some people are at the stage here. They, they don't know what that means. Well, I got to go back and review what it means. And let's write this down, and we'll take one at a time. So remember, I know what x is. It's the number of bushels A had, right? So I'm gonna write that down, and let's see if this makes any sense. So A had 30 bushels, and B had what would that be? 30 minus 10, which is 20 bushels. All right? Now, of course, if this is the case, I also have to get the price. So if this is the case, I got to get the price. All right? So looking at it, you know, I got things written all over the place, and I'm going to talk about what Z would be. All right, so if, if, if X is 30, what would Z be? Well, I want to point out, I'm looking at this over here. 15 divided by 30 is 1 half. Now, what's Z? Z is the price per bushel for B. So B's price is going to be 50 cents per bushel. All right? We'll get to 50 later, by the way. Now comes another problem. I got to get the, um, the Y. How do we do that? Right over here. And what do you get there? Well, if X is 30, that would be 20. Y equals 8. That means Y is 8 over 20. Well, let's see. That would be 40 over 100, right? So that's Y, and this would be this guy's price per bushel which is gonna be 40 cents. All right? Okay, let's do the other one. This is done. Look at the key later. Let's say A had 50 bushels. Then B had 10 less, would be 40 bushels. And again, we'll look at the key later. I wanna get the price. And let's put this down. What's Z going to be for 50? Well, that's going to be 15 over 50. Again, we're using this. That's going to be 30 over 100, which is 30 cents. All right, so Z is 30 cents. All right, let's get the, um, the Y now. And I'm going to use 
this or the Y. Exodus 15. Let's write this down. Um, you know what? I'll use this equation. It's really the same one. So it's going to be Y equals 8 over 40. I'm going to reduce that to 1 fifth. And that's going to be 20 equals 21 over 100, which is 20 cents. This is done. Let's get a red pen out, and we'll do the grading. A at 50 bushels at 20 cents each. B at 40 bushels at 30 cents each. Or, there's another possibility, A had 30 bushels at 40 cents each, and B at 20 bushels at 50 cents each. All right, two separate answers. Thank you.